Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, and welcome to Inspiration for Today. And uh, what a great day it is. We're marching through the book of Revelation together. We come today to the sixth seal. And what are the seals? Remember, Jesus, in the big worship room that we went in detail about, as worship is going on of him, he had a scroll in his hand. And underneath, and in that scroll that he was only one able to open, there were seven seals. We've gone through the first five. Today we come to number six. It's one that we here in California, and these are future things, judgments that were going to happen during the Great Tribulation. Part of that seven-year time period at the end of history prior to Jesus coming back for his rule right here on earth. Most commentators that we're now talking about in the Great Tribulation, which is the last, it's bad for seven years, it's terribly bad during the last three and a half years. This takes place during that. Each of these seals, and when they take a seal off a scroll, it unveils some of the words. These are the words that were written on that scroll. Verse 12 of chapter 6. I hope you're following in your Bible because we can't go into every detail. And by the way, some of you have been writing and asking questions. I encourage you to do that. I can't go into every little thing on this in 10 minutes. Verse 12. I watched as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. You ever been in an earthquake? Well, I certainly have. That Northridge quake back, and I'm pretty, well, the year was 1971. It was the worst one that I had been in. I think that was the Northridge, but it was a terrible earthquake in February of that year. And I happened to be, I was getting married at the end of that month, and I was living alone in the apartment that Diane and I were going to share right in the Wilshire district of Los Angeles. And when that hit in the early morning, I went and I did have a view out over the city. And it was like, I honestly thought in some way we're getting bombed. I don't know what it's by or whatever, but I saw flashes of light all over the city and explosions, and, spar and sparks, and everything. And I found out later that that was electrical transformers somehow hitting together and making a, an explosion. But it was very, very frightful. And of course, you know there was a lot of damage. Now, if you've lived in California any length of time, you have felt earthquakes. They're really disorienting, aren't they? And cause fear. And where can I go? You can't go anywhere. You might get out from something falling on you, but you can't go anywhere to get away from it. It's just happening. Well, evidently, this is going to be in the sixth seal during the tribulation time, one of the worst earthquakes ever. And it sounds like it's going to be around the world. In other words, the whole earth being shaken. Could God do that? Silly question, isn't it? Of course he could do that. The results that John observed, the Apostle John, as he wrote this down, are very much like an earthquake that, that, that we have been a part of. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair, and the whole moon turned blood red. In other words, there's a huge, it's almost like a dust bowl happening. And the stars from the sky fell to earth as just like late figs from a fig tree when shaken by a strong wind. I mean, if everything's getting shaken, the sky receded like a scroll rolling up and every mountain and island removed from its place. My guess is, but I don't know for sure, that it really just means you weren't, John wasn't able to see them anymore because of great, dust, I would think, or maybe it's rain or whatever, but his vision of the earth and what was around completely 
obliterated. It was that, it's going to be that amazing. Well, the reaction that we see then from the people on earth is not surprising. Verse 15, then the kings of the earth, the princes, the generals, the rich, the mighty. That's one side of society, isn't it? But also every free man and slave hid in caves and among the rocks of the mountains. In, in other words, they are seeking shelter everywhere. Wherever you were, you're trying to seek shelter, but you know that can't happen because this is the God of the universe shaking the earth. They called to the mountains and rock, fall on us, fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb. They knew they are going to know who's doing this. And it's God. And it's Jesus. Judgment is coming on the earth. And isn't that something? They, this is fear. This is fear and it's ultimate. Because they're saying, I don't want to fall into the wrath of God. I'd rather that the mountains and the rocks fall on us and hide us from his face. I think it's very convicting. And it's actually an alarm. Alarm should be going off. We don't want to go through this. And as we talked about last week, we don't have to go through this. Jesus is coming for his church and will take us to be in heaven prior to these events happening. It's called the rapture, the rapture of the church. Jesus doesn't want his church to have to go through this. Make sure that you have placed your faith in him because you don't want to go through this either. But these that are still here, well, it says, verse 17, for the great day of their wrath has come. Who can stand? What a frightening thing. This would be the earthquake of earthquakes. And not only would, it, it's like kicking up the dirt, the dust, the mountains. You know there's going to be tsunamis uh, if you're along the coast. As long as you're a follower of Christ, you don't have to go through this. But if you, if you resist and you say, and, and if the timing of the Lord is such that the church is raptured and the tribulation begins, Many, many people do come to faith in Christ during the tribulation. Yeah, the church isn't there to tell them, but you know what? This book will be. The Bible is still there. And this is written down so that people will know what's coming. And many are going to, at that point in time, say, you know, I was wrong. Jesus, you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. As they start to see these things. But even then... The vast majority of people will still resist. They will still, even during this earthquake time, many will still resist. Why? Because it's pride. Why resist now? There's nothing to lose now to place your faith in Christ. But people resist. <laughs> they still will then. But it says, for the great day of his wrath, of their, has come. Who can stand? Well, when we get to chapter 7, we're going to actually, chapter 7 is an interlude of before the seventh seal is opened. And uh, you're going to see that many, many people do place their faith in Christ during the tribulation time, during the great tribulation. And uh, I'm thankful for that. Well, we'll read about and celebrate with those people next time. See you tomorrow as we continue walking and studying through the book of Revelation together. I hope you're enjoying this. By the way, Tuesday afternoon is our fellowship time uh, on our, our Zoom call for all Saddleback Church, Laguna Woods. I hope you take advantage of that. See you tomorrow. God bless. Beautiful day. It's wonderful. The day that the